have a final product that has at least one six-member brain in it. And because of that, it's actually pretty easy to predict what were the two pieces that came together to make that final product. So let's take our product that we made and try to figure out what were the two pieces that came back or that came to make it without knowing. So I had the six number ring here, I had a double line over there, double line. Now, on an exam question, you might see what were the two reactants that came together to make this in a Robinson annulation? And unless you have done it going forward, how would you know? Well, here's what you're going to do. You're going to first find the six member ring that must have been made in the reaction. That six member ring will always have a C double bond O and either a carbon carbon double bond or an OH. And we know their positions based on that number ring gimmick I was showing you before. One, two, three. It will either be one with a carbonyl, two, three with a double bond, or two being single bonded to a carbon three that has an OH on it. So either way, the numbering will hold true. And then you just number around the ring the rest of the way, four, five, and six. Only numbering the six number ring, that's all we care about. Now what you're going to do to figure out the two pieces that came together to make this as your final product, redraw the whole thing. Step one, redraw the whole thing, okay? So step one, redraw. Step two, <clears throat> erase the bonds between two and three and between four and five. So I'm gonna erase, let's number these again. Two, one, six, five, four, three. So I'm gonna erase this double bond here. I'm erasing all the bonds between two and three, and then I'm erasing all the bonds between four and five. Step three. Draw, make a double bond between six and five. So I'm gonna redraw this bond right here with a double bond. Finally, step four, put a double bond O on carbon three. Put a double bond O on carbon three. So this right here has a double bond O. And would you look at that? Those were the two pieces that came together to make this right there, okay? So if you go through old exams, you're going to see a lot of questions like this. What were the two pieces that came together to make this? And this method should work for almost all of those questions. There's like one exception that I have to look up and find it. And when I do, I will make a video, a separate video on it. But until that point, that is the gist of a Robinson annulation. It always makes a six member ring. And if you follow these four steps, you can break it apart to figure out the pieces that came together to make it. Okay. And with that, that about takes care of chapter 19. So, good luck everyone.